Uh, are you retired? No, I'm still working. You're still working. Yeah. Would you like to be retired? Of course. Of course. <laughs> hmm. When do you think you can actually fully retire? Uh, when I'm six feet under. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that, the economy is always a big concern for the American people, and especially the elderly who rely on pensions and other passive incomes to survive. But in light of Trump's litany of corruption charges and financial troubles, what is the Republican Party really planning on doing with your retirement? So, first of all, there is a lot you can do in terms of entitlements in terms of cutting and in terms of also uh, the theft and the, the bad management of entitlements, tremendous bad management of entitlements. There's tremendous amounts of things and numbers of things you can do. Anyone that says they're not going to take on entitlement reform means they're going to go in and be president and leave the country bankrupt. You can't do that. Yes, we have to do entitlement reform. The right wing disregards workers' protections, treating labor movements as progressive nonsense, and dismissing just how integral these movements were in building the economic faith in the country and the American identity. But with the enduring MAGA tide in the US, the programs that Americans rely on the most are under attack. And there is only one reason to blame, Donald Trump. Because we are going to be leading a revolution in Congress, and that is to put a referendum on the Democrat party, the a referendum through investigations and accountability. Joe Biden and his family will be a top target We'll, and so will the CDC, the FBI, the Department of Justice, the Department of Education, Homeland Security, and many other federal government entities that have abused power and have done so much damage to our country. Actually, there are many, but MAGA Republicans like MTG and Lauren Boebert continue to negligently ignore just how dire the economy has come for those in the working class. And when it comes to the topic of entitlement, which describes state-sanctioned support for public services like Social Security, these are the material hits that meaningfully impact the lives and bank accounts of countless American families living paycheck to paycheck. It's a fiscal abuse that disproportionately affects the elderly, those older generations who are not able to enjoy the fruits of their labor and unpaid dues. And we know that this is the game that Republican elites play. Let me come over here to Desiree. Desiree, great to see you. I'm sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but um, we're talking about retirement. It's not easy to retire these days because it's so darn expensive. Absolutely. Groceries, gas, housing, electricity, just can't make it anymore. And Donald Trump, a bygone benefactor of this oligarchy, shows his true colors in this next clip. Speaking to a private group of money backers and private investors, in a closed door meeting, Donald Trump discloses exactly how he made the presidency work for him. You're all wealthy people. I know a lot of you come there you know, what we did, the largest tax cuts in history, think of it, our military. And it's very clear that Joe Biden is unfit for office. Um, President Trump sacrificed his wealth for our nation, and all Joe Biden has done is sacrifice our nation for his wealth. Amidst this abuse and dysfunction, the country is being stunted, financially and politically, by the stubborn prejudice of the old vanguard who cling to traditional views in spite of socialized economic initiatives and collective oversight. And these safety nets that kept the masses secure are now being revoked, ripped out from under us as the country morphs from a robust democracy into an elitist geritocracy. And despite being a huge demographic making up the MAGA cause, the older generations are convinced that Trump's battled business history will translate to rest and relaxation in the future. But vital public services that keep the American people afloat are a laughing matter to conservative politicians. The punchline of a sick joke and of the empty promise of the American dream that is harder to achieve than ever who worked for decades to secure their ever-diminishing returns and are constantly threatened by a swollen economy where the rich get richer and the poor 
vulnerable to abuses by the government that was sworn to protect them are instead used to feather the pillows of billionaires and faux are instead used to cushion the financial blows of millionaires and faux businessmen like Donald Trump. And although he'll pander to the blue collar working class and draw inaccurate parallels between us and them, one thing must be understood. The trickle down economics of the right will not deliver the equilibrium we need, where we can enjoy a dynamic and responsible open market without compromising on our values of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Because that dream was attainable way back when. And for those who work hard, who work for one another, and whether you're 18 or 80, that dream is still worthwhile. This is Adrian Costa with Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.